ke af en den time kunne be reviewing this um, hand cannon the extra space that I got from reaching rank 3 of the gunsmith in order to get that the you have to get as after when you reach rank two you have to get a special quest from banshee that you have to do so many kills with a primary or a hand cannon telemetry after when you're doing that and this then you got to dismantle rare or, or legendary hand cannons S sorry, exotics do not count. So once you do that, is you go to Banshee again, then you, you pick up the Ace of Spades, and the perks are True Sight, Flexible Sight, Light with Gold, Recall Control, Strong Target Acquisition. Quick draw, agile sight, lightning fast handling, stable sight, optimize for excellent recoil control. That's for steady hand IS. Firefly, precision to precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. High caliber rounds. Oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes a weapon harder to handle. Perfect balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil. Reinforced barrel. Increased range, reduced stability. And Maverick. Precision kills move one round from your ammo reverse reserves into the magazine and basically some of them said that it is like the hawk moon that fires exactly the same way and make exactly the same noise As you can see, however, the hand cannon dropped at two seventy, but I upgraded it to four hundred. But it's a good um, hand cannon to use in PVE, but not as much in PV. Here are some people did the reviews on the hand cannon to and the and the thoughts on it. Yeah, there's many, many people say it was the and say so kind of like lost exotic and that but it's always been in the files of um, in the systems at Bungie which she, she, in order to obtain it you got to reach rank um, 2 and do you can only lock it at um, rank three or something like that? <laughs> yeah, just got the key of maggots, which you have to go to. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of um, videos of of YouTubers actually built a a life-size replica of 
the ace of spades out of um, Lego. And there was one guy the, that does a series on on ballistic ammo guns it's from Destiny by making them out of a 3D printer. There's another good watch to see that is pretty good. Get this loot. Jump up here. Get out of here. This is big. As many people say, it's like the Hot Moon is basically like them comparing the Imago look to the Fake Bringer. Fake Bringer, and which which Imago look did um, come out at the time when the Taken King arrived. As soon as when people got it, it it was so led to so many internet memes by so many. Destiny YouTube um, celebrities like um, Mark Console and the couple of others so making jokes about the uh, <laughs> Michael Looper calling it the fake bringer. <laughs> Basically, it, it, the Imago Loop is essentially a reskin of the Fate Springer. Like this is a reskin of, of the Hawk Moon. Then there's been so many other, uh, other cri criticisms as well. And this is basically um, the a, a suspense. In fact, in Kid Secret Stash, um, this cards dotted around the, the area which you have to get the. Um, plasma s stealth drive in order to breach the dreadnought in, in certain areas there's there's secret cards with um, aces started around and this is this is more synonymous around them um, k6 is that's Played to the perfection by Nathan Fillion. <laughs> Who was the main star of the Taken King? And the thing. He, he's got something very similar um, to to what you see him in the brief second in the besieged um, tower in the bit version of the homecoming, in which he opens up the door. He, 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 
shoots a couple of um, bad guys, then disappears. <laughs> But the thing there's going to be also speculations about it by returning in Destiny 2 or something like that, I'm not so sure, but I don't watch the video. I tend not to watch every single v video about Destiny 2 because I want to uh, play the game and to enjoy it, not to be spoiled before I... Like, Watch the game. It's like watching all the best bits in the in the trailer for the movie. Then when you go to the cinema, the the the, the movie turns out to be sucky. So that's why I don't watch every single video or news update about um. Destiny 2 And what if, what do I think on this um, hand cannon? It is a great um, hand cannon As in such, um, it fires pretty damn good. But the whole um, bad thing about it is, as many people uh, uh, said in their reviews about this, is that the ammo runs out pretty damn quickly. Because when you go up to um, Lieutenant the Major the bosses, the, the dudes with the <laughs> yellow bar are, are one of them with a white bar at the top. They can be quite um, bullet sponges. <laughs> so that eats up all your ammo. By the time you use up all your ammo, you've re really got nothing left to take on the bosses uh, towards the end of the fight. So, uh, so ammo in certain them. Guns on this g game can be pretty scarce, and I just shot a yellow bar centurion, and that ate most of the ammo. But lucky enough, there was a drop there to replenish. So that's the weak advantage this um, hand cannon got. And as you can see by the gunplay of it, it's um, above average. If I, if I was to use them. Um, and kind of regularly, I usually rock my um, fate bringer. The both um, legendary and the adept version. Oh, I, I can also get out my Imago loop.
You see it just shot that um, yellow bar taken thing and it eaten half of my ammo. But this is the only quest, the exotic ne next to uh, um, the bull in Gemini that does not have um, elemental stats. So it's good. To, for for your collection, but if you're doing hours working strikes, it's, 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 you're gonna struggle. And if you are uh, going in a raid, which is no point in taking the ace of spades because you're gonna um, struggle a lot. So take uh, so take something like the fate bringer or the Imago loop with, with you. Because you're going to be facing quite a lot of um, enemies. My overall rating of the uh, is the spades. Is I probably give it about seven out of ten. And there's my gunplay and um, review of the Ace of Spades. This is the Central Vest Venture. Thank you for watching. And to, to, I'm on Twitter at Frankie Smiles, I'm on Blogger at I'm dash TV dot dash forty. I'm on Pinterest and a couple of um, online media outlets. So I'm also over on my main channel, which is Central Vez, as I do reviews and all sorts of other video content. So I'll leave the link to my channel in the description bar. And please like the stream and share it with a friend. And Don't forget to shape up and fly right. Have a great evening or a great day with you in the world and fairly well.